Hi, I'm Brad with Big Family Homestead and today I've got a video for you that's going to show you how you can keep your animals, your goats, your dogs, all of your animals worm free or deworm them naturally with no harsh chemicals. So let's get to it. Now on our homestead it's very important that we keep our animals as healthy as possible because that keeps them as productive as possible. And one of the things that's very important to keep in mind is keeping your animals worm and parasite free. Or if they have worms and parasites, how you get rid of them naturally and quickly so they can be healthy and productive. Today we're going to be talking about two natural ways, no harsh chemicals, on ways that you can prevent your animals from having worms in the first place, or B, if they have them, that you can get rid of them naturally, no harsh chemicals, and ironically, it seems like the natural way of doing things is also the most cost-effective way. So the first of the two methods that I'm going to talk about today is diatomaceous earth. Now diatomaceous earth is basically the fossilized remains of diatoms, which is a kind of hard-shelled algae. If you look at diatomaceous earth underneath a microscope, it's very sharp and has lots of tiny little holes. And basically what happens is when your animals ingest that, the worms, the, the parasites, get caught up in it and they pass right on through. So what happens, it doesn't hurt the animal in any way, um, but it, it basically helps get rid of all manner of worms and parasites and all kinds of funkiness that's gonna be plaguing your animals. An important note though, you should always do your own research before you feed your animals or yourself anything. This is just my opinion, it's what we do, but I have included a website that um, I feel has got a lot of information that backs up their information with several other sources, and that will be listed down in the description, but it's also coming up on the screen right now. It also gives you the amount of diatomaceous earth you should use per kind of animal, uh, the proportions, how much you can use, how you can use it, it's very descriptive and very helpful. Since we've been using diatomaceous earth on our goats, our chickens, and our rabbits, we have not had any problem at all. And it's actually kind of a sad point because before we found out about this, we actually lost one of our uh, goats, one of our milk goats named Hazel, to uh, worms. We were new, didn't know and uh, she passed away because of it. It was very hard to watch. Oh, one last side benefit of diatomaceous earth from our perspective is when your animals in eat it, when they ingest it and it goes through their system and it comes out of their system, well, all of that diatomaceous earth, doesn't. it's still there, it's in the stool. And what happens is it acts as a very awesome way to keep down flies and ticks and fleas and stuff because the, uh, those animals have a, a scaly, scaly bo uh, bodies, the exoskeleton, and the um, diatomaceous earth gets up underneath those plates and dries them out and cuts them up to ribbons. So it helps keep your flies and your fleas and your ticks and everything down just as a byproduct of them ingesting it and getting rid of all those nasty worms, tapeworms, and parasites. So added benefit. Now one super important note is that you should only ever use food grade diatomaceous earth internally. If it's not labeled food grade, it's really only for putting out in fields and getting rid of ticks and stuff like that, like an organic pest control. Only ever use food grade diatomaceous earth internally. But once again, I'm not a doctor. You have to do your own research. This is just my opinion. Now the second method I'm gonna talk about is specifically only for goats, and that is pine needles. Do not feed pine needles to a pregnant cow or any other animal without checking out what the possible ramifications are gonna be because I don't know. I've only researched this for my goats, and for my goats, pine needles are a wonder. They are hugely, hugely beneficial when it comes to vitamin C. High, high amounts of vitamin C, but they are naturally a dewormer. Now the thing is, for us, it's Christmas time around here, just past Christmas time, so we just picked up a bunch of free Christmas trees and every once in a while we'll throw one out into their uh, goat pasture pen and they eat as they need. Their body tells them when they need to get rid of these worms and these parasites and they'll pick that thing clean and they love it. Lots and lots of good vitamins and minerals for them and it costs us zero. 
So deworming your animals and keeping them worm free is super important. And here are a couple ways that you can do that naturally, no harsh chemicals, and it doesn't cost very much at all. I wanna say a 40 pound bag at our Rural King store was less than 15 bucks. Now that lasts a long time, keeps your animals healthy and happy, and that is the way to go. If you can go without chemicals, you should do it every time, all the time. So if you like the video, please don't forget to click like and subscribe and tell your friends about it. It honestly does help our family out a great deal. I'm Brad with Big Family Homestead, and you have an unbelievably awesome day. Hi, how we doing? Well, oh, you guys look lovely.